and welcome back to Let's Play Cognition. I'm Tigum and I'm here Ready with Coskit again. I should see what Davies Hello wearing. everyone. Now we've just woken up after our uh, going home from the crime scene. And we had a shower too, by the sounds of it. Yes. That was very the important. FBI Boston plot office. Development. Home sweet workplace. I'm not sure what she means by that. I think she means she spends a lot of time at work. So Fair enough, I suppose. Each their own. I'm not in that position where I have to spend a lot of time at work. I just go to work and go. Gwen I love Graham. this building because for short. it's massive. I don't know what we do it does her. seem very huge. Department admin, office manager, and she's handling evidence these days too. Well, that sounds unwise. Aren't you meant to be trained and all that sort of stuff? You would think they'd have specialists at the we FBI. Keep your words in there. A few of the top I know someone who's worked in a police mine. officer, and they do just tend to dump you a bunch of evidence and go, here, put these drugs somewhere for me. <laughs> so many heroes. They misspelled honor. Yes, they're Americans. But I'm not sure what those names are. I tried googling some of them. I couldn't figure out who they That's meant to be. That's our printer. Old, but still works. I, I noticed some of the names weren't in full. They were like an initial, then a middle name, and a surname. Like, why not? Yeah. It's an Hi, honor board. How should have full names. Erica! Name. Working hard. You know, lots of things to file. But hey, can't complain. Still have my job. <laughs> yeah. So, what's up? Girlfriend. <laughs> so, how's it been handling the evidence room? Crazy, isn't it? Have you done see the eyes do this weird to get out of this mess. rolling? Cutbacks and all. Yep. Wish this came They're with the raise. all being just so really sarcastic all Anyways, the time. Anyways, if you have any <laughs> requests, I can get it for you. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. I assume that's a phone ring in the background of Thank this you, game. Yeah, yeah that's anytime. actually in the game, and it's really annoying. So I think it, this maybe is there's someone at my door. This is not going to work with this. Yeah, you can't give the evidence to the evidence woman. That would be crazy. Also, my this... little corner of the room. This it office seems to how open well I play for with others. The FBI. Uh, yeah, like there's just way too much space for this many people. Uh, you could walk in here and just lob a grenade. And, Let's see what's new today. You know. Well, it wouldn't kill anyone because they'd all be out of range. Well, <laughs> that's true. Hey, Erica. Sally. Davies told me that she had to leave Maybe as that's soon how as she got safe. here to let you know. Thank you. She said she needed to talk to you about that antique you found yesterday. How did she know? Terrence. Yeah, well, was she was doing his job, herself. telling yeah, the boss about the evidence. That. She had a similar piece or something. Oh. Really? Interesting. Need to see this thing. I'm sure. Are you avoiding me? <laughs> Sully, I have 10,000 things in my head right now. Can we talk later? Sure. They you want to grab lunch later? You should probably see a doctor about that. I like how the sandwich is still there on the desk. <laughs> Not today, Sully. I really am busy. Maybe some other day? Yeah, you got a hell of a I case. don't know what the difference between By those the way, two options was. One was no, one was maybe, night. but I said maybe, uh, I can bring and she it just by, went, no. or maybe you could... Yeah, I, I bring love it that by. adventure sure, games. Sure, no problem. Uh, in fact, any game where you don't actually know what you're saying. Yeah, give you a choice, but doesn't the, actually that choose anything. That so unappetizing. It's a brown paper bag, Erica. Ugh, What's no to look thanks. appetizing about it? <laughs> I think she's been sandwiching wrong. We use that phone only for interagency communications. And that's about the only time I use it. Wait, what? But that's she what... She only <laughs> uses it for the only that's thing it's him. for. It's my best picture of him. You need to get better pictures. I can connect to the FBI database through my computer. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> It's almost like she works for the FBI. She's remarkably close to the vending machine as well. That seems unwise. That's convenient. Read. Terence mentioned to me that you have found a piece of an oh, antique I thought she was last telling night me to at read. the crime scene. <laughs> I was sent one anonymously last week. I gave it to Terence. It's not the first weird thing I've gotten lately either, but I wrote them off up until last night. Yeah, she I'll show it, it all to you when I get with. back later today. For now. I have to go take a look at something important. Davies. What does she have in her office? I have to get into Davies' office somehow. You literally can't just wait for her to get back. Oh, God. 
The case database. Also, there are other emails there, but I didn't here. bother looking at them because they're all completely meaningless. Maybe oh. this is an American thing, but why are they just addressing each other by surname? Because they're cops. That's what cops do. Oh, okay. And that's the information on the cane killer, right but now. you don't really need to read it, so I didn't bother. Exactly oh. what it says. A people search. Do you... Oh, it's a drop-down. I drop don't down. have that's... anyone to search for right now. Well, I'm thankful for Small Mercies not having to type it in yourself, because that really, really is Yeah. Me. That is one good thing about it. Could someone answer the damn phone? Yeah, no, they won't. I'm not even sure whose phone is ringing. The old vending machine. <laughs> good thing I like to jog, or this thing would be the death of me. I need some money for it. Well, use your wallet. Oh wait, hang on, you mean you have to go get your wallet? Uh, she doesn't have a wallet, she has a badge. Uh. <laughs> Jared Seriously? Sullivan. Or as we like to call him, Sully. Yeah, there's some history there. Apparently both those people yeah, are Sully. <laughs> Sully's fat, is what That guy is no one? That's Agent Stephen Abbott's desk. Steve's on vacation right now. That guy's not on vacation. Special Agent Marjorie Vargo sits there. Marjorie's out having baby Kevin. But what about the woman who is there? <laughs> yeah, that's just really weird. Wait, why? And John gets the I big death get right at the end. Somehow. I, I think that means that John smells or something like that, and they just put him over there, like a map see of the metropolitan the green area of bit, Boston. That's where it's safe. I like guess it was John and Erica are partners, but like their desks are literally on the ago. opposite sides of the room. It's the FBI's most wanted list. And I don't know what any of these names are about either. Like you can look at them, so they must mean something to someone. But I maybe don't. they're some sort of hilarious, very bad joke. My partner uh, in crime. If it is, I can't work it out. John has always taken a protective role with me, especially when I get my crazy ideas. No, he's your partner in the opposite of crime. Yes. <laughs> the anti-crime. Again, they do the that The guy weird doesn't go anywhere thing. without that thing. A present from his dad or something like that. That's so funny. Look at his hands. The, yeah, the, this whole scene is really washed out, like they set the my lighting too high. My cigar-loving, donut-devouring yeah. FBI partner. Things cannot get more cliché than that. Is she thinking this, or is she saying this? Because she just walked up to good his morning, desk. Good morning, John. It's impossible <laughs> What's to tell. What's so good about it? Grumpy, Sally, de What? <laughs> you are an iridescent ray of sunshine today. Did you have your coffee yet? <laughs> Shit, no coffee will fix this. What's up? All this paperwork that fell on my desk today, like a goddamn ticket tape parade. I'd offer my help, but... But? Don't really want to, sorry. Her hand Bring is Bring me massive. some donuts if you want to help. <laughs> Will the bag of chips from the vending sorry, machine Sorry, I'm it? noticing hands Get today. Get out of here. The one hand size fits all. <laughs> Has Sully said anything about me? Look, I'm not good at this lovey-dovey shit, but... <sighs> We were at Joey's the other night, throwing him back, and the kid opened up. He's confused. Oh, I don't blame him. I have fun when I'm with him, it's just... I feel like I'm cheating. You mean because of... You know. It's one thing when you touch a body and find details that help on a crime scene. But when someone holds your hand and you see him looking at penthouse magazines and... Don't all guys do that? <sighs> it's not that. I feel Some intrusive. guys have the internet these days. If I find oh, things that she... I don't like later, too bad. So she's a touch telepath. I want to get there at my own pace. She touches someone <laughs> I don't and she know can his parents see in their mind. Yeah. Even have the chance to be right. like going at the crime scene when she had to touch meet him. the body. Man, I gotcha. don't know what it'd be of me if every time I kiss my ex-wife, I saw my mother-in-law. <laughs> Why would you kiss I'm your ex-wife? Yeah, don't kiss your ex-wife. <laughs> have you seen Davies? Sully told me she left early. Got reeled in by something, I suspect. Great. Know when she's coming in? Nope. Now stop asking questions. <laughs> it's my job. Well, stop being so good at it. 
Stop waving your hands in the air. <laughs> you keep a copy of Davy's office keys? No? Why? She sent me an email mentioning something about strange things she's been receiving in the past few days. So I figured that since she isn't here... You just sneak into her office and look around? Oh, come on, John. I don't have time to stand around until she comes back. Even Why not? I <laughs> yeah, I was say. A stupid idea. You're out of luck. I lost those keys. And don't tell anyone either. Had any new thoughts on the hangin last night? <laughs> you see my desk? A man cannot think straight with all this. You know, there's something that doesn't fit. Erica, every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with oh, Scott's yeah, killer. She works it's in the that FBI. Gleam in your eyes. Surely, and it's any right time they get called in right on a case, it's fairly important. And it yeah. isn't that. Davies had a bad feeling about it, and I agree. Well, you had know a bad what feeling do. about a murder. Put your clues together. Go back to the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, thinking if you don't, you're probably doing See it wrong. See what surfaces. Meanwhile, you'll be here guarding the donuts. There's a bright side to everything, Mama said, but there's no donuts today, so I can't even have that small comfort. You could go to the donut shop. Just so I went to there. see that woman, Rose. No, he's very busy not and? doing all that paperwork. Uh, I don't yeah. know. You know I hate that spooky shit, but she seemed to know something. You gotta deal with these flashes of yours now before they seriously screw up your ability to do your job. I guess. Oh, I think we're well past that point. <laughs> well, I guess I should get back to the case now. How are you feeling, kiddo? I'll survive. I'm gonna stop by Scott's grave today. Yeah, Red, that's gonna help. My mama always said, if it's meant to be... It'll happen. You know what pisses me off? No, Not that I haven't caught the us. killer, or that Davies closed the case. But the fact that there may be another pair of innocent suckers out there whose lives could be about to change forever because of this bastard. He's been quiet for three years. Maybe the guy died, who knows, had a heart attack. The guy was on fire last time anyone saw him, you know? That is so a good point. In any case, stop the whining and go do some work. He could be in hospital. You are better than that. Well, presumably yeah, they checked the hospitals at the time. I don't know about that. They don't seem particularly effective. Well, probably the regular police check the hospitals. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. That's the fire exit. Fortunately, I don't need to go that way. Hmm, I get the feeling that's a clue. Like, you shouldn't go that way. Or that we're going to have to go that way later. Uh, why is she running? Because that room is massive, so I made her run. <laughs> Several options, none of which the we interrogation can take yet. room, oh, the holding okay. cells, and some That's administrative offices are on that floor. Accounting is up there. No, thank you. The main station. I don't know is why the, the FBI floor. has a whole accounting floor. It seems a bit excessive. The main entrance and the parking lot garage are on the first floor. So what floor are we on now? I, we're on floor two. That's just the one marked station. I have nothing oh, okay. to do there at the moment. All we can do is leave. Uh, see, I probably would have spent half an hour trying to find those keys. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't actually do anything you, there yet. Yeah. But we can go to the morgue where the forensics guy is for some reason. Yeah, it's a bit weird, but I guess sort of logical in some ways. That's my old buddy, Terence. We took a couple of classes together back in undergrad. Okay. So they weren't kidding. They moved the forensics here. I guess Gallagher doesn't really need a secretary. I wonder if they fired Susie, her last receptionist. Well, who are all these people? Do I need to know? Do I care about That's any of this? That's the way to the morgue. I, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Isn't it cozy here? The Erica! No McCoy today? Nope. All by myself. That's ah, a weird Good. Thing. I can talk you up yeah, some romance. These two have some really Terrence, awkward banter. You're my one true love. 
Let me just stand there. Any luck identifying that guy? All the DNA strands I found were from the victim. Nothing from the killer. Not a drop of sweat? A hair? Nothing? <sighs> Nothing, man. This guy was clean, and I always find something. So they knew exactly what they were doing. What about our John Doe? It'll take a few days. You know how these things are. You'd think they'd come up with something faster. Call me if something comes up. Got it. So, how's life at the morgue? It ain't too different from when I had a team. No one speaks much. Only difference is that our zombies preferred to be in front of their computers with the lights off. <laughs> John says the same about me. I'm sure Gallagher is lovely to work with. <laughs> I keep getting on her nerves. <sighs> it's my new hobby. I imagine that he would be that I way with anyone. Picks. Why is that random mathematical you. equation? Put your thumb on, the on your back. nose, waggle your fingers, and pat your tummy first. Who knows? What? If you're gonna ask for lockpicks, you really need to learn the thief sign, Biggie. What do I look like? The flea market? You're way better than a flea market. True that. Here, state of the art. Best line of lockpicks we have. Go and violate some human rights. Why norms. does he just have lockpicks there? Yeah, I wouldn't hide them in the front desk. I'd hide them somewhere else. And why is she using? Why does she want lockpicks? I found something on that antique piece from last night. Well, Spill the beans. It's to unlock Apparently, a boss's door. It's obviously. A well, yes, obviously, but century, <laughs> but it's been modified. So it wasn't something that was just laying around. No, it was very intentionally left there. How do you know mm. that? I yeah. won't confiscate it then. See what you can do with it. Oh, what? if it's definitely evidence, then so I definitely won't take it. This has apparently been broken into many different pieces. Didn't Davy send you something like this today? Yeah, I haven't ch Oh, you mean the email she sent me this morning? Yeah, she mentioned something. Man, where's my head? Can I see it? I don't know. Davies will kill me. Come on, Terrence. This is important. <laughs> Tell you what, really you scratch my back, grin. and I'll scratch yours. It does he mean literally? Uh, you can actually do this either way. You what can just bully for? him into doing it. Oh, it's just that. Oh, you see, I thought it would have the real consequence the of her wanting equipment. lockpicks. I can't store it with hers because she doesn't want to. But then I have no, no other place to put it. It's just... And you want me to talk to Gallagher and see what I can do. You got it. Am I under the assumption here that they've just sort of see you later. Alligator. made the forensic unit useless? Like they've gone, they seem to have gone from a team to one guy, and now they won't let him have forensic equipment stuff. Yeah, basically. Why? Is it, I, I'm going to guess here that someone's actually evil and the killer. Possibly. Or maybe it's just really badly written and they didn't want forensic evidence to give the solution away too quickly. <laughs> so, instead of Agent having them tied Reed. up with another case. Gallagher? Yeah. Gallagher. It's that really was a, not a convenient the body name so much as the death that makes this place so depressing. Another That's solitary not... gurney, ready for another What's sorry John Doe. This is a very large morgue. I, yeah, I, like like the FBI office. There's just way more space than is needed. That's where the Gallagher needed. magic happens. Yeah, I, I think that's a function of the, the perspective of the game. Because like, you're sitting pretty high up. And to make it look 3D, you either have to take out the roof or... Yeah, I guess. Who are you, John Doe? They could have put more stuff in the room, though, like more desks in the FBI office. Yeah. Gallagher is hard at work, like always. She really Wait, she said that. Her mouth's moving. Does. Yep, she's actually she saying that out loud. <laughs> this is an interesting one. Have you found anything new? The subject was drugged. I found high doses of a substance in his body. Was it blood? Have you identified the substance? I've sent it to the lab. How did you find the substance? You if you don't, anything, yeah, you'd have to. You can tell me about it. Well, logic. It was probably it used as like, a sedative. Did you send a blood sample? There are no signs of direct struggle, other than those of dragging the body. Yeah. 
Because well, usually you've like got a pool of substance by the somewhere of the skin in with other all the blood has been removed like when the killer and replaced the with a to substance. The <laughs> so it's it red was and sticky. A person. Suspicious. Whoever did this definitely struggled with carrying the mass of this body. Okay, so you they've mentioned that several that the times. victim was killed by strangulation? After Very close examination, strangulation yeah. was the catalyst. But the victim suffered both a heart attack and a hemorrhagic stroke. How exactly did that happen? The blood pressure progressively reached higher values. Oh, that God, combined so with the boring. We don't was care. A combination that caused He's dead. All he died from dying. Body to fail. Don't care. He was strangled. We don't need the exact some mechanics of, the of suffered massive damage. <sighs> How long did you say this process took? I would say between 45 minutes and an hour. Are we running tests to ID the victim? Yes, Agent. <laughs> what hand gesture was that? I know how to do my job. We set a dental and are running a DNA test. Weren't lucky with fingerprints? The fingers are extensively mutilated, but I will try to reconstruct it later and see Looks if I can like get a partial. Looks like he's teeth, so you could go That's going to take more than a few days, think. isn't it? Indeed. How's life treating you, Gallagher? I'm down a secretary and down an assistant, small talk now. and Terrence moved in upstairs. What do you think? Are they both gone permanently? At least until things turn around financially. That's too bad. I miss Susie. She was an excellent secretary. I hope Susie's I can hire her back character. someday. Why? Because she got out of here. But right now, yes. <laughs> I'm busy, Agent Reed. Yeah, I'll leave you be. <laughs> now you say you're busy after you just finished. Terrence mentioned something about wanting to use the storage? Yes, he's being a pest as always. Why won't you play nice? If he feels welcome, he'll never leave. And that would be unacceptable. You know he's not there by choice, right? Apparently not. So you won't reconsider <laughs> about Terrence using the storage? Without a direct order? No. Which you, of course, are not authorized to give me. Now, can wow. I get back to work? They they seem nice and then bitchy I'll and then nice you, and Gallagher. then good luck. Yeah, Agent it's, Reed. I guess it's a consequence of how the conversation is made up of these bits that are, you can do in any order. Gallagher but yeah. prefers her it's old style really tape weird. recorder. But even in the same line, there she's sort of talking about some stuff right and then, now. well, you can't give me that. Well, that just seems aggressive. Tools of the coroner's trade. I guess maybe the lines were recorded without context. Yeah. I should take a picture of him. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but a simple puzzle. We have a phone. It takes pictures. <laughs> that should do. Oh, Anything I else the I should take of a picture of? Yeah. Not even really front on, so you're sort of What's getting. What's this? This wound is recent. There's something not quite right here. Yeah, no, was really? Bone or something else? <laughs> you thought the coroner would have worked that out. It doesn't feel like a bone. Agent Reed? I'm sorry. Don't poke him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just weirdly macabre. It's like. It... His fingers have been skinned and mutilated. Whoever did this went to a lot of trouble to hide his identity from us. I give her a lot of Agent shit for Reed, being useless. Please right, refrain this. from touching the body. <laughs> if, if the coroner hasn't His got the stomach open and checked out what's going mutilated. on there, I think Whoever she's did possibly this the best person here. Trouble to hide his identity yeah. from us. Erica seems competent because everyone else is so incompetent. Yeah. Do you mind? Go ahead. Now we ask for permission to take a photo. That tattoo is going to be unrecognisable at that angle. Yeah, <laughs> you might be able to see that there is a tattoo there. Maybe. <laughs> Looks like it's glowing and you should be able to use it, but no, you can't. Yeah, that's, that's a really weird effect. Looks like it's shining out of his ass. Yeah, it almost looks like the light's coming from underneath him. No, when you zoom out, now you can do it. Oh, God. 
I don't think I'll get more than what I saw last night already. And Gallagher won't be happy about me touching the body. That didn't stop you the last two times. Yeah. So you've got to tempt Gallagher away and then come back and touch the body. No, I think we're done with touching the body. It's just the, if we did, it's it would be the same thing we saw last time. Oh, okay. Fair enough, I suppose. And that's all we can do there for the moment. So yep. That's been a valuable use of time. Yeah, that, that seemed well worth going there. Now, we have the lockpick, so we could go back to the office, but I didn't do that yet. Yeah. Decided to go poke some other things and see what happens. Thought I'd go back to the crime scene, because there was that thing we couldn't look at last night because everyone was there. Yeah. Alright, now that it's quiet, I should see if I can use these visions of mine to find more clues. Oh, there's a hint. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, turns out visions are not working at this point. <laughs> Convenient plot device. And that's the end of the thing. Yep, that was about half hour, so I decided to cut it there. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, and next time, of course, we will have to go visit Rose Madeira again to try and get our visions working again. Oh, okay, so we need a cosmic tune up or something like that. Yes. Alright, completely plot device continues to be convenient. Yep. I have a feeling we're going to have to visit her several times because you unlock extra powers as you go, and I think you have to visit her to get an info dump on each new power. Right. Okay. Well, I suppose that works, but um, a bit irritating. Yeah, especially considering how much she likes to talk. Everyone likes to talk. They just spend all their time talking. Um, so far, not much has happened. I guess we should sum up a bit. And very, I'm not sure if anything is going to happen at this rate. Yeah, we haven't really made any progress on solving the crime. Everyone in the FBI seems to be incompetent. And our best lead is to break into our boss's office instead of just waiting a bit. Yeah, which... I don't mind doing as such, but I don't see why we can't have the option to wait a bit. It just... I don't know. Yeah. It's, it seems like that's the obvious thing to do. Especially when you consider there's a whole bunch of people working in the same office, so... Yeah, like, we're, we're going to take this lockpick back to the office and just pick the door right in front of everyone? Well, maybe there's a hidden door, so... I didn't see a hidden door, but then again, you would. <laughs> if, I, if I was a boss, I'd want to have a even hidden door to my office, that way no one could find it. <laughs> this is the story of why I'm not a boss. <laughs> maybe she just has an extra hidden door, and she's actually in there, waiting for Erica to pick the lock so she can go, AHA! Uh, well, judging by what I've seen so far, this would not be beyond the bounds of possibility. <laughs> 